Creating videos can be quite a task, especially if you're camera conscious. In this video, we'll take you through a ton of ideas that have proven to go insanely viral and don't require you to be in them. And to top it off, I'll even show you how easy it is to create them in minutes. We're covering the most viral faceless YouTube shorts as it stands right now. So let's jump in. First up is animation. Producing this type of content will require time, talent, and skill. Or it could be as simple as using your phone and a little creativity. However, if you are an artist or digital animator, you may find relief knowing that you can now create shorter animations and make more use of your time. Jake Fellman is a perfect example of that. Most of his shorts are about 15 seconds long, but his choice of topics are trend-based. This is one of the highest performing animated channels on YouTube right now. But if you're thinking you need to have a high level of skill to be successful with animations, you actually don't. Take a look at this makeup animation, for example. It's a simple screen capture on an iPad. Or this one, for example, which is really like a stop motion that someone used with paper and crayons. Another example would be riddles and brain teasers, which are also technically animated, but are in a completely different category. These can easily be done with the templates you'll find inside the NVIDIA editor. Later, I'll show you the example of an animated riddle shorts I created myself in minutes. Next up is gaming. Gaming would require some equipment or at least an interest in gaming. But if you're already a gamer, you may find it easy to combine some of the categories like how to or create a skit or tell a story using the game to help you produce the animations for your storyline. Since most games have a story mode, you can venture around or make the character interact any way you want. Here's a great example of combining two trends, Roblox and Squid Games. And here we see them combining Squid Games and Minecraft together as well. And the last block of categories we have here all kind of are under the umbrella of filmed content. Film content doesn't have the creator at the forefront. We see a lot of examples of this type in channels like 5 Minute Crafts or the How to Draw niches, which require some talent or creativity. Imagine how many times somebody has watched this, considering that it's only 14 seconds long, over 21 million views. But I'd like to share with you some other videos that are also represented in this subset. Not only are there countless examples of this type of content online, it also requires some digging to find the topics. So let's take a look at some of the most viral examples of this. In the general how-to category, this usually walks through how to do something or exposes the steps to a finished outcome. Here's a great example of how to build a gaming PC. In addition, they've combined an ASMR component to this. Things like crafts. Look at this one, over 24 million views. Here's an example. What do you think they're doing here? Well, in case you're wondering, you might wanna make a huge bar of soap in the shape of a foot. And if you wanna learn how to do that, you can rely on five minute crafts to teach you how. <laughs> some people are just super creative and we would never be able to see some of the things that they have designed come up with on their own. That's what makes viewing craft videos and craft shorts in particular so bingeable. Are you getting excited? Cooking. These mini food videos are highly addicting. Not only are they entertaining, but wow, look at all the details that go into these. They're kind of hard not to watch. This channel, That Little Puff, has definitely taken their time to put their content together. This video in particular has over 16 million views and no doubt considering that they're mixing pets with cooking and crafts and they've put it all together in a very creative way. Definitely holds your attention and who can't stop watching this, right? Now this one isn't entirely faceless because it technically did show his face at one point in time, but I wanted to give you this example because this could have been entirely faceless and it has over 44 million views. How to cook and season the steak at the same time. So it's cooking and kind of like a how to hacks, tips, tricks. Well done, <laughs> no pun intended. So regardless of what it is you wanna cook, perhaps you can bring something new to the table. Tricks and hacks, we see tons of hacks, tons of how-to and tutorial type things on every subject you can think of. From how to use common everyday objects in multiple different ways, you never know when you might need some of these tips some of these more common ordinary objects and see that they can turn them into something functional. It works! And it earned them over 17 million views. 
tricks and hacks make life easier. We love convenience and a shortcut towards achieving our goals and making things simpler. Apps do the same. They're like a hack in your pocket, making things easier, and many apps are designed to help keep you on track. Apps can also be entertaining and educational. Here are some examples of apps. In just doing a quick search on YouTube, you can find apps you should know about, or how to do particular things on your phone, or change the settings on an app, or this one, the eight most useful apps for students. What apps could apply to your niche? I could think of one more subcategory that is both educational and can also be filmed, faceless, and entertaining. Riddle me this. Can you guess what influences the performance of faceless shorts the most? Think you can guess? You'll find the answer at the end of this video. Being an awesome video creator has less to do with being able to duplicate things that have already been done, but more to do with understanding your audience and how to get creative with some of the topics that are trending or ideas or things that are just working well. Understanding how to use it for you is gonna help you be a stronger video creator. An example of this might be, if you see a lot of skit videos like this and assume that this doesn't apply to the faceless niche, I'm here to prove you wrong because creativity is the number one factor in how trends are formed. Hey. Hey. You know what I was just thinking? You had the best ideas. You know how like everyone talks about how great Elon Musk is and everything? Like why didn't he ever make a cologne called Elon's Musk? Ah, seriously, what's up with that? Missed opportunities, swear. Hello? Let's break this down. First, I took a filter from Snapchat. Next, I uploaded it into the NVIDIA editor. Then I made my music selections from the royalty-free options inside the editor as well. Now I have a template. This type of short is perfect for those who want to do skits, but don't want to be in the spotlight. The best faceless content holds attention. And in order to hold attention with video, that requires some assets. So you'll need quite a library if you don't plan on obtaining the footage yourself. Here, you'll find 8 million stock clips, images, and music tracks, over 5,000 ready-made templates that are already pretty much done for you. And you need it to be easy so you can spend more time making videos than learning how to edit videos. And if you've been using apps this whole time, one thing you haven't had the ability to do are create your own templates. Remember the riddles idea that we went over? Imagine how many you could make out of the same template. You created it one time and now you're able to duplicate it and make a ton of other projects with it. That's smart. So now that we've covered what you need, let me show you where to find it and how to systemize your content creation. First, we'll head over to nvideo.io. Once we're here, be sure you have the vertical aspect ratio selected before browsing through the templates. It just makes it easier. You can do a simple browse to see if there's any styles that you'd like to start with or do a search. I already know what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna go right to it. I've also put this in my favorites, as you can see, by clicking that little heart icon at the top right corner. Does this look familiar? This is the template that I used to build out my riddles. First thing I like to do is take a look at each scene, just to see if there are any elements that I would like to keep, or which ones I could change. I decided to go with this one as my first scene, so I'm gonna move it to the front. I'm only gonna use two of these templates, so let's just delete the rest. All of the templates are fully customizable. Let's start with colors. You can switch these to your brand colors with just one click and shuffle them around. But for this one, I'd like to get a little more colorful. Over on the left-hand side, you'll find plenty of tabs with tools. We're going to go into the stickers tab. This is where I found the countdown timer. Okay, looks great. So I just wanted to give you the the basics of where you can find your, your assets. But since I have my template, I wanted to be able to show you how to systemize your content creation. Let's go back for just a moment. Up here at the top, you'll see a folder icon called Projects. I'm gonna click that. It's gonna show you all of the projects that you have. Here are one of my riddles. Because I've already created this, all I need to do is duplicate the project. I can choose which aspect ratio I wanna use for my next project. Okay, and here we are. So now we have everything that I've already put into place, right? We've got my question, my countdown timer, my entire design. And although you could browse through, the search bar is a really helpful tool because there are millions of stock clips to choose from. Oh, 
I like this one. We're just going to drag it, drop it in, and we want to just replace this one. We're going to trim the video to fit the scene. Click done. Okay, great. Now, looks like she could use a little cropping. That way we can really zero in and get the look that we want. I always like to give it one full view before we prepare to download. The upper right hand side of the screen, you'll see a button to download and share. You see that it's been saved already for us. I'm gonna click that. And we'll make our selections from there. 1080p sounds good to me. And click export. Did you know that while this is rendering out, you can duplicate this project and make another one? You don't have to wait. From here, you can copy the link to share it with someone so that they can review it, share it straight out to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, or the NVIDIA Facebook community. And speaking of, if you want to take it a step further, you can join us over on our Facebook group. We have over 25,000 members. There you can post your content, get feedback, ask questions, get answers. More importantly, you can find all kinds of tips and tricks over there. So we'd love to see what everyone's sharing and we hope that you'll join us. If you haven't already, click the link in the description below or you can head over to nvideo.io and get started. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear more about Facebook, List shorts, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of our next video. We're talking about the ones that are the most profitable. Don't miss the next one, but in case you missed the last one, you can check that out here. I'm Angelique with NVIDIA. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.